Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today is Mind Your Own Business Day. I think. Well, maybe it's not. We'll find out. Today is um, not considered Mind Your Own Business Day, but it's a really important thing to think about today because April 1st is National One Cent Day. And um, my favorite penny, I've always been kind of looking out for this one. I've never found one yet, but I will maybe. I will someday. I definitely will someday. So in um, 1787, Benjamin Franklin designed a penny. And on one side, it said, mind your business. And the other side said, we are one. And I would love to get a hold of that because really the we are one is the one that really resonates with me. Because so many times our loved ones that have passed will drop pennies. We, we will find them everywhere. You'll find them on the street, on the curb, in the dirt, um, all over the place. And that's kind of like just a reminder, like I'm here, I'm, I'm around. And now I myself found a penny a day after I found out my dad had passed. Um, it's one of those, um, I was getting ready to drive down to be with the family um, after he passed because he passed like one, two, three, he was gone, like just absolutely gone. And so it's kind of one of those, um, I looked down and there was a penny and I remember my dad telling me the last time I saw him that um, he always had um, seen pennies and uh, picked up pennies and it always reminded him of like his dad, um, that sort of thing. So I kind of like think it's kind of a special way of letting the other side know that they're around. It's kind of like, hey, let me drop these pennies around. Now, um, I often tease with my dad um, who has passed that um, I would love to get like bigger coins. So sometimes um, I'll find a penny next to a quarter or a penny next to a dime or a penny next to a nickel. And I'm like, yeah, that's what we're talking about, Dad. Get some big money in here. So it's kind of a fun way to do it, but also our angels and guides send us uh, pennies as well. Um, so sometimes we will find pennies different places. And when you pick it up, a lot of times what I'll do is to kind of just hold it close to my heart and kind of like, what is the energy that I'm picking up on? Um, is it a loved one? Is it my dad or someone else that's passed? Or is it just my angels and, and guides letting me know that they're around? Kind of like, uh, hey, we're here. Um, haven't talked in a few minutes, but love to let you know that I'm here. So that's kind of one of those very special things that um, pennies can do for us. And I think it's really, really special. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of like, pennies are not that big a deal. They are when you've picked it up and you feel that energy of your loved one. When you pick up a penny and go, wow, I feel like this is from my dad or my mom or my cousin or my brother or whatever it is, my husband or my wife that's passed. Like when you hold on to that penny and you feel like it's from their energy, it's amazing. It's one of the best messages ever of just like, yes, they're around. Yes, they know what's going on. And kind of like, yes, they are close to me because for them to drop it right in front of me, um, they would have had to been there just a minute ago or a second ago. So that's kind of like one of those like, yes, they're still with me. They're still around. And I know many, many, many clients will tell me that they have found crazy pennies in all kinds of places. Um, I think that's kind of one of the special parts is like to find them. So if you have found a penny in a very special area um, and you know that it's from like a past loved one or your angels and guides, like where is the craziest place you have ever found one? Um, I have found pennies kind of crazily, kind of crazy places, kind of like, really? Um, I, um, I have found them on the curb. I have found them um, in front of my house. I have found um, pennies um, almost any time I, I, I would say like not every time, but like two or three times a week, I will find a penny um, from an angel and guide. Um, sometimes it's from other people's angels and guides, like almost like thanking me for giving them the message. So that's kind of like a special part because a lot of times, um, uh, like when you get that message, it's like, yes, they were right here. They were just right here. I think that's one of the special parts for me. So I love uh, pennies and I love when pennies have an attitude, just like Benjamin Franklin's like, uh, we are one, but mind your business is kind of another funny one. Because a lot of times like people don't always believe that they come from angels and guides or past loved ones. And to me, it's like, mind your own business. 
totally mind your own business. Who cares? If I believe it and that's what I feel and that's what I love in my heart, then that makes it all, all the much better. It is. So let's do some angel cards and see what kind of messages our angels are sending us today, even though they're not sending us any pennies today. This one, actually there's two of them. So the first one is Neptune and this is all about the vision and this is really the message is um, seeing them like seeing their the penny um, is kind of like their way of like I'm here I've seen it I'm around you I was just here like just a second ago and that like I said can really just warm your heart like yes they're right here I'll keep getting them upside down. Um, this is the sixth house and sustainability. And this is kind of like their way of showing us that they are around us. So many times um, they, you know, people think of like we're bothering them or they're doing something else or whatever it is. Sometimes like I, I had a client not too long ago to say, you know, I don't want to bother them. I, I do want information or I want to know how, you know, that her loved one is doing on the other side. But she goes, I don't want to bother them. They love to be bothered. We are their heaven. We are their heaven. They love being around us. They love sharing the information, letting them know that we are still connected, that we're still um, literally just a veil apart from each other. So that is kind of like an extra special one for me because I love talking to them and I love getting their messages too. Kind of, kind of cool. This one is about Aries and this is act. So many times people say, I saw a penny, to, but I didn't pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up and literally put it in your hand, your dominant hand, whichever one that is, and place it um, near your heart and just kind of like, whose energy do I feel? Whose energy do I feel in all of this? Whose energy is um, coming off of that? And sometimes my angels and guides, because I'm kind of good at this, but you could get good at this as well, is kind of like they'll leave me a message in that penny. So I love it. I have li I literally a container of pennies. I love it. Um, this is a Capricorn and this is Achieve. They feel like they've achieved something when we have gotten that penny, when we've picked it up and really like, yes, we've got this. They love that. They absolutely love it. Like it's like, yes, they finally got it. They finally got it. How many times have they thrown pennies at us and we didn't get it? How many times have they dropped pennies and we didn't even see it happen um, or just kind of overlook it? It's kind of like, oh, it's, it's one of those, I'm, I'm not gonna pick that up, it's dirty or whatever else, or it's on the heads or on the tails, I've heard that as well. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Pick it up and hold that, that penny and kind of see what energy is attached to it. Our last one is um, cancer, and this is about the immersion. They love to let us know that they are still immersed in our life. Even if they're not in physical form anymore, they are still connected to our lives. They are not separated from us in any way, shape, or form. That's the important part. They are connected to us. No matter what's happening, no matter what's going on or anything else, they want us to know that we're still connected. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon.